If you're a big fan of classic equipment, then today might just be for you. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Today we've got some new and updated mods to take a look at for Farming Simulator 22, and we finally got a normal mod day. In total, we have 22 mods for all platforms who have 12 new and 6 updates, and PC and Mac players have 1 new and 3 updates. We're going to load up each mod in the store, take a look at the customization, check out slot counts for console players, and we're also going to review all of the mods that got an update today. I do make mod review videos like this one every time mods are released on the Endgame Mod Hub. Usually that's Monday through Friday, so get subscribed if you're new. That way you never miss any of them. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms. We have the Farmall 460 560. This has got 50 horsepower, manual transmission, 70 liters of fuel, 16 mile per hour max speed, and weighs 2.7 tons it's it looks good there's something that seems like it's missing but maybe that's just me tell me what you guys think on here as far as customization we've got a front weight no we've got a 45 90 135 180 225 back to standard again exhaust we have design one and two back and forth between those seats we've got a couple different designs here there's design one there's your design number two fenders yes and no Lighting positions. We have a couple different lighting positions there. One and two again. Engine setups. We got that 460. We've also got a uh, 460, another one. So engines 50, 55, 60, 68, and 80 horsepower. We'll set up. So we've got the trike, or we've got a regular setup. We have, also have trike number two which uh, just looks like it's got different wheels on the back. Main color, hope you like red because that's what we've got, all the reds. And then rim colors as well. You can change these, which is nice. However, those front hubs are still going to stay that uh, base game red, and it's not going to look good with every color, so just be aware. And lastly, this is going to be eight slots on consoles. Next up, we've got the Caffini Synthesis Sprayer, vineyard sprayer for you guys. This will hold 400 liters of liquid fertilizer and herbicide. It weighs 200 kilograms. It is not heavy at all. 45 horsepower is required for this. Again, not a lot of power. Three meter spread, seven miles an hour. It's gonna be six slots on consoles. Attachment type, we have small attachment and we have medium as well as large attachment and the capacity. 400 and we go up to 600 liters if you guys want to there as well i don't see anything changing on the outside however it is nice to have a little bit of extra spray so that's nice if you guys are looking for more caffeine products or if you're looking for something for your vineyard check this out next up we got a new fertilizer spreader from ja modding this is the virtuous 12,500 from bandurante this will hold solid fertilizer and lime it's gonna spit it out at 12 miles per hour it doesn't actually have a spread online anyway as you can see however it is 18 meters uh, with lime and with solid fertilizer it's 36 meters as far as your discs you can do yes and no still trying to figure out where those are and then you've got your bows on the top as well Oh, and it's 10 slots. Boom. Next, we have the Unia PZ3 Plow. This weighs 180 kilograms, 1.5 meters at six miles per hour. We do have a color palette. You can see it right here. We'll just go with a nice dark red right there. This is gonna be two slots on consoles. Very old, very classic. I like the look of this. Next up, we also have a new subsoiler. This is the Agrisim Agrimulch 6M. And you guessed it, six meters wide, 200 horsepower is required, 3.2 tons, seven miles per hour, and it's gonna be seven slots on consoles. Unfortunately, there are no customization options. If you're looking for a new weight, well, maybe this is it. The ZT Self-Made Slice Wave from Forshred. This weighs 420 kilograms. Nice. We've got an attachment on the front or not. Main color. Ooh, that's a lot of colors. Let's go with the uh, Forshred dark green there. And then design here, we'll just go with a red. But as you can see, we have a very nice color palette for both of these options. They are a little bit different, or at least in a different order. And it's only going to be one slot on consoles. We've also got a new tether for all platforms more classic equipment i like this the lizard z283 tether this bad boy right here is 25 horsepower required 2.7 meters at seven miles per hour it weighs 165 kilograms and it will cost you three slots if you guys are playing on consoles attachment type so we have the t25 you can also go with the mf255 
C360, and then back in. So we have different options for different tractors there to get your height right. As far as your colors go, this is going to be your main color palette. We're going to go with red. So that is your frame. Design color number one. Ooh, let's go with a blue. So those are the wheels, actually. Let's, keep, let's make those silver. Design color again here. Let's go blue. Not bad. And after clearing my throat one time, I think we know what this is going to change. There you go. The Z283, good looking machine. A few days ago, the Jampool Fertilizer spread a release for PC and Mac players. I said we probably see a version for consoles as well. And here it is, the Lizard 600L. This bad boy will do uh, solid fertilizer and lime. It's only going to be three slots on consoles. That ain't bad at all. 180 kilograms, 24 meters spread at 11 miles per hour. Hold 600 liters or 800 or 1000 liters. And we have multiple different color options here as well. Your main color, this is your color palette. We'll go with a nice bright blue for the frame. Your design color will go with green. And then lastly, I'm guessing this is going to be for the top. Yes, it is. This next one's really interesting, but at the end of the day, it's really just a leveler. This is the Lizard 5000 CC DC. They say that this could be used to drag all types of crops that are on the ground and make piles to get back silos and piles in the silos. And you can also collect materials like snow or animal manure. Again, it's really just a leveler at the end of the day, but it's kind of cool. It's definitely a different style. This is trailed versus being on the front of your tractor. It requires 200 horsepower. Got a five meter working width when unfolded. 24 meter, 24 mile per hour max working speed. So yeet. Weighs five tons, so it is pretty heavy. And it's going to be nine slots on consoles. The only thing we have here for customization is the license plate itself, but I will say this is a good looking machine. We also have a branded version of this on PC today. We'll talk about that later in the video. Next is a really cool mod. This is a Brussels and Laid H55 container hook. What this does is it hooks on the front of a front loader. So front loaders, you also have telehandler, wheel loader, choose what you want, and you've got your colors right here as well. As far as everything else, this hooks onto container hooks. So as you know, you've got the hook lift support on a lot of different um, trailers, tippers, things like that. Well, what this will do is allow you to hook onto that and attach to it and move them around. Put them where you want to. Maybe lift them up a little bit. Drag them around. <laughs> have some fun. Maybe you want to have a competition see who can park one the best. This is going to allow you to do that without having to get your truck or trailer in there and move it that way. Just makes things a little bit easier. It's cheap too, 1200 bucks, uh, and it's only one slot on consoles. Not bad. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Joskin 12,000B trailer. This is, well, 12,000 liters. You can go up to 12,700 or 14,000 or 14,000 with a different design or 18,000 or 18,000 with a different design or 18,000 with another different design or 23,000 with different designs. Oh, yeah. You can almost double the capacity, basically. It's a really cool trailer. It'll hold everything's the bulk capacity on here, 3.4 tons, and it's four slots on consoles. As far as wheel brands go, we have Trelleborg. We also have Rystein, Continental, BKT. We also have different wheel setups, so you can choose the ones that you like. Designs, we do have a couple different designs on here. However, um, I believe those are just going to be the design on the very front, so that's nice. And then we have a rim color option as well. So if you guys want to go with maybe a base game gray color versus yellow or green, you can do that. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be a new decoration, the Milk Churn Stand. They say this is a traditional Finnish Milk Churn Stand used from the 1920s through the 1970s, back when milk was still transported in churns. Very, very cool. Um, so there's really not much to this. It is a decoration at the end of the day. You can open it up if you would like to. That's kind of cool. And then we've got two decorations down through here. If we jump over, you can see as far as this goes, the milk churn stand is going to be four slots. The one with plants is four slots as well. And the milk churn itself is just going to be two slots. So nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. Very cool. I like this. Nice new decoration. That's it for the new mods for our platforms, but we do have some mod updates as well, starting with the map Maypole Farm. This is version 1.2.0. Point one of the map. They fixed issues with some trees, which caused the game to crash. Fixed the BGA so it has a larger storage capacity. New save game is required for this specific change to take effect. So heads up there. They fixed some hedges floating. The descent mountains have been changed. Or distant? I think that's it. supposed to be distant. Uh, foliage updates for dirt tracks. Cell point names have been updated. Background switched out and detail has been added. 
Cow barns in the northwest and southwest farms now have a capacity for 1,000 head of cattle. Heck yeah, man. Bailey contracts have been now fixed. PDA has been updated. Uh, Sue Sneaks real life environment has been implemented. Relight, sorry. Uh, Sue Sneaks relight. There you go. So it's got a new lighting environment. And for PC and Mac players, it is now Gray's Mod ready. Is save game compatible? However, for increased BGA storage, new save game is required. Next up, we have an update to the Massey Ferguson 6S 7S version 1.1. They've added a new store item, the Massey 7S. They've also added daytime lights, added passenger support. The base price was increased on the 6S. The block weight has been improved. Chassis color has been changed. Screen decals have been changed. Shadow bugs have been fixed. Grid bugs have been fixed. And they've added new details. How's about an update to that fit? 500 volts. Mario S4 to version 1.0.1. They've added sub IC of via configuration and fixed several visual bugs. HR Forest Ponzi Scorpion King got updated version 1.0.1.1. Log failure fix. And we also have an update to their Ponzi Harvester Pack to version 1.001. The interior camera has been fixed and they say, please note, set the change driving direction. Otherwise, the seat will be in the way. And your last mod update for all platforms today is going to be the Marshall ST8. Diversion 1.1. New Big AT balloon tire setup's been added. Warning triangle configuration's been added. They've added glare and triangles. Detachable PTO positions been fixed. The wheel hubs have been replaced. And they fixed the translations. Making our way into mods for PC and Mac players today, we only have one new one. This is the Los Antonio CC5000. Now, this is a brand we've got a few pieces of already. But here you go. We've got, well, it's exactly like the uh, all platform version. Five times. 200 horsepower, 5 meters, 24 miles per hour working speed. And if I back out, again, you can see at the top, it could be used to drag all types of crops on the ground, make piles, compact silos, piles in the silos, and you can also collect materials, snow manure, stuff like that. Very cool. It's a good looking piece of machinery. Uh, heads up, it is the 5000 CC DC. So if you are, for example, looking in mods and DLCs in here, you're going to look for the 5000, I believe. I've actually still had a really, really difficult time finding it in here. Now, it's not where I would expect it, but it's easy to find in levelers. And lastly today, let's take a look at all of the mods that got updates for PC and Mac players. The very first one is the Krovitz K700 to version 1.001. They fixed the transmission in automatic gear shift mode. They fixed the tractor decals and textures. New tractor animations have been added, and they finalized the tractor sounds. And we've got a big update to the Kubota Pack Passenger Extension version 1.1. They've added passenger support to the Valtra Q series and T series tractors. Passengers cannot enter these vehicles when the vehicle is being operated in the reverse driving position, so heads up there. They've also added passenger support to the Vermeer ZR5 1200 Baylor. Add a passenger support to the Eero Grape Liner Series 7000 as well. Also, we've got new AI passenger features been added to single player mode. New settings have been added to game settings. So green to allow the AI passenger to be adjusted and new AI styles XML to allow AI passenger styles to be added or removed. The XML file will be created in the first load at Farming Simulator 2022 slash mod settings slash FS22 underscore passenger extension. And your very last mod today, we got an update to the Polish Big Bag mod version number two. Multi purchase ready and added pull calc by calc plus well guys that is it for today's new mod video hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos like this one here on the channel this video is actually coming out before the farm sim news video today so check the first pinned comment below if you guys want to see that video i'll leave a link there once it's out otherwise i hope you guys have a great day we'll see you later peace